All right, it's time to work on our next layer. To start off with, I'm going to be mixing some green with yellow and blue. Let's mold that little bit of yellow here. Assemble the blue here and mix it together to make a beautiful green. It's a little bit too light. A little bit more blue. There you go, that's the color I want. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint this green. Oh, that's way too yellow. That's why you have to test it out first. Okay. There we go, that's better. So I'm probably not gonna do the whole thing today, but I'm gonna show you the technique of doing it. So we have a basic green. It could be a little bit greener, honestly, but I'm, I'm okay with that for now. So while it's still wet, without even washing your brush, just take some of that extra green off. You're gonna get some of the yellow and we're gonna make the texture of the feathers. Keep your brush on its tip. And you're gonna just do little strokes of line on that wet paint. And anywhere there's shadow, you use the blue. All right, for instance, under the eye, we'll have shadow. So I'll get some straight on blue. Once again, add in wet white paint at all. You don't need to. It's acrylic paint. Under the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little stroke. The key to doing this is making sure your layer underneath is wet. So the green is wet. If you just go dry, you can do this. It couldn't hurt to maybe add some water to make that thinner. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, there we go. There's my shadows. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do it down here too. Just a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to wash my red because I want just the plain green. If I add blue here, it's going to turn to turquoise. So I'll wash it really good. that green. I'm going to paint the rest of it all green. Personally, that's way too yellow in my opinion, but I'm going to go with it for now. I can always go over it later. Over here in this chest area, it's going to be red eventually, but right now we're going to just do the whole bird green. I'm going to try and make a different green. Not more than that one. So let's try this time with blue. Wash it. Yellow. Still too yellow. I'm gonna try some of this cobalt blue. This is a dark blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this. All right, there we go. That's the color you want. That's the color, yep. Okay. Let's mix it all just together. Keep it brush thin. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's what we were missing. The cobalt blue.
Okay, so we have a base coat. Now we're going to be talking about value. Where is the light coming from? Is it coming from this way or forward, sideways? Think about that. You got to decide yourself. I'm going to say it's going this way. It's going to be shining on the face. So anywhere it's going to be yellow, I'm going to be using my thin brush. Get some yellow. I'm mixing as I go. Just going to have it on the tip. Yellow right here. That's going to be light. The top of its feather is going to be light also. We can go ahead and start laying out the feathers too. I'm going to have light around here, but remember that's going to be red eventually, so leave that this part empty. I'm going to get some white. And right here, we're going to go ahead and mix it as we go. Straight on white. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Eventually, the beak is going to be orange, but I don't have any red on my paper right now. We're just gonna use the colors we have, three at a time. That will be there for now, but keep in mind, it's going to be orange eventually. Now I'm going to do the texture of the feathers here on the bottom. Small, tiny strokes for the feathers. And I still have some yellow on my brush, and that's okay. You want to, to mix it together as you go. Now, I'm going to use yellow because I think that green is going to be too dark against that here, so I can see it. Eventually, once I have my rocks in and everything that, I'll go back and do the tail again and make it that color. But right now, I'm going to make it there so I can see where the feathers are going to be. Notice how I'm mixing as I go. Keep your brush on its tip. It's a little bit too light. Go in and mix it together with the blue. Let's use some of that nice blue. Note to self. The cobalt blue, this bright blue one, is the color you want to use when you're mixing your base blue. The dark blue, ultramarine, is good for shadows, not so much for the base coat. So 
a little bit here and some shadows. We decided that the light's coming from this way. So the shadow's gonna be over here. But not too much because it's gonna be shining on it. Add a little bit of shadow right here under that feather. Add a little bit right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other glue and mix it as I go. Okay, let's get some yellow now and mix it all together to make green. You could mix on your palette, but I think it, it's a lot easier when you do it on the canvas. And it has texture to it. Texture is one of the elements of art. I'm going to go ahead and move away from the bird and come to the whipping willow. I'm going to be using this beautiful yellow to start off with as my base coat. And this time, last time, I just kind of blotted down the color so I know where everything is. Now we're going to be doing the detail. So I'm going to go in and make my leaves. You'll be wondering, why is it yellow? It's a whipping willow. It's supposed to be green. It's going to be green. Well, that's still wet. I'm going to get some of that nice green, green that we made with, with the ultra, well, no, dark cobalt blue. I'm going to go right over there and cut our top of it. It's okay if some of the yellow shows through. You want it to, it makes it look more interesting. You can see the layers underneath. Once again, you don't have to be doing what I'm doing. This is just, I'm showing you some techniques on how you can paint it. You make your own composition. These are just some techniques you can use in your painting. Once again. 